Lynn Frederick, a figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the industry. Among her many legendary works, one might wonder which defines her career. Lesser known facts and anecdotes about this iconic actress continue to fascinate enthusiasts. But now, let's dive into the intriguing details of her life and work. Did you know that Lynn Frederick's career began at a remarkably young age? She was just 15 when she starred in No Blade of Grass, a role that showcased her talent even in her teenage years. Another interesting tidbit is her brief but impactful marriage to Peter Sellers, one of the most celebrated comedians of his time. As we explore Lynn Frederick's fascinating journey in Hollywood, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, what's your Lynn Frederick story? Lynn Frederick, a diamond in the shadows, Lynn Frederick was a luminous star that graced the silver screen in the 1970s, though her brilliance was tragically short-lived. Behind her delicate beauty and ethereal presence, there's a compelling story filled with both triumph and tragedy. Born on July 25, 1954, in Hillingdon, Middlesex, England, Lynn Frederick was destined for a life on the stage and screen. She attended London's Corona Stage Academy, where her talents were recognized at a young age. Her debut in the world of cinema came in 1971 when she starred alongside Sir Lawrence Olivier and Nicholas and Alexandra. This role, which she landed at the tender age of 16, showcased her remarkable acting abilities and set the stage for what could have been a remarkable career. One of the lesser known facts about Lynn Frederick is her rapid ascent in the industry. She married renowned British actor Peter Sellers when she was just 20 years old. Her marriage to the comedic genius thrust her into the limelight, but it was her talent that kept her there. In 1975, she won the Evening Standard British Film Award for Best Actress for her portrayal of Anne Boleyn and Henry VIII and his six wives. Her striking performance revealed a depth and range of emotion that promised a brilliant future. Tragically, Lynn's career was marred by personal struggles. Her marriage to Sellers ended in 1980, and she faced a series of legal battles after his passing in 1980. Her promising career began to dim, and despite her undeniable talent, she faced challenges in finding substantial roles in the competitive world of Hollywood. What makes Lynn Frederick's story even more poignant is her untimely passing. She left this world at the age of 39, far too young, on April 27, 1994. Her death was attributed to chronic alcoholism, leaving behind a legacy that could have been so much more. Lynn Frederick's life and career, while tragically short-lived, are a testament to the immense talent and potential that was lost to the world. She remains an enigmatic figure in the annals of cinema, a diamond in the shadows that shines less brightly but is no less precious. Her story reminds us of the fragility of fame and the profound impact of personal struggles on even the most gifted individuals. Lynn Frederick, an actress known for her roles in the 1970s, had a life marked by significant events. Among these, her time living in a house once owned by Hollywood legend Gary Cooper during her later years in California stands out. This fact sheds light on a lesser known aspect of her life and her connection to the glitzy world of Hollywood. While Frederick's career had its moments in the limelight, her personal life was not without its share of challenges. She experienced at least one miscarriage during her marriage to David Frost, which is said to have contributed to the breakdown of their relationship. This personal tragedy brought its share of difficulties. Additionally, Peter Sellers' biographer, Roger Lewis, paints a grim picture of Frederick's life during her marriage to the famous actor. Frederick played the role of caregiver to Sellers during his declining health in the final years of his life. Despite Sellers' deteriorating condition and his difficult temperament, she remained by his side. Rumors suggest that Frederick endured both physical and mental abuse from Sellers during this time. In conclusion, Lynn Frederick's life was marked by various challenges and interesting connections in the world of entertainment. Her time in the house once owned by Gary Cooper, her personal struggles, and her turbulent marriage to Peter Sellers all contribute to a complex and compelling narrative of her life. Lynn Frederick, known for her brief but eventful marriage to the iconic actor Peter Sellers, led a life marked by both moments of fame and personal complexity. Her story offers a glimpse into the world of entertainment 
and the challenges it can pose. In 1976, Lynn Frederick married Peter Sellers shortly after completing her work on the film Schizo. This union thrust her into the public eye, given Sellers' fame as a comedic genius. However, their relationship was far from ordinary. Peter Sellers first proposed to Lynn only two days after their initial meeting, a proposal that she initially turned down. A year later, he tried again, and this time, she accepted. They eloped in Paris on February 18, 1977, making headlines. Their marriage was marked by ups and downs, ultimately ending in divorce. It's worth noting that Lynn Frederick's life and her marriage to Sellers have been the subject of interest, even making their way into the HBO movie The Life and Death of Peter Sellers in 2004. Actress Amelia Fox portrayed Lynn in the film, though her scenes were later deleted for legal reasons. Fox approached the role with the aim of portraying Lynn as a young girl navigating the glitzy world of showbiz, only to later confront its harsh realities. Lynn Frederick's life story serves as a reminder of the complexities that can arise when fame, romance, and personal challenges intersect. It's a tale of love, ambition, and the often unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. Lynn Frederick, best known for her work in film and television during the 1970s, had a notable career that left a mark on the entertainment industry. One interesting aspect of her career was her dedication to her roles. She learned how to horseback ride for her part in Henry VIII and his six wives in 1972. This skill came in handy as she also had to ride horses in other projects like Fallafoot, Faze Ivy, and Elvisio y La Verdad. Aside from her commitment to her craft, Lynn Frederick campaigned for a role in the 1978 Emmy-nominated British adaptation of Les Miserables. She auditioned for the role of Cosette, but also read for the part of Fantine. However, she was deemed too old to play Cosette, and too young to play Fantine. This aspect of her career showcases her determination to take on challenging roles. Beyond her professional life, Lynn Frederick's personal life had its share of complexities. She never knew her biological father, Andrew Frederick, who left her life when she was just two years old and lived in America until his death in 1983. In his absence, she considered the British actor David Niven as her adopted father figure. Her close relationship with Niven developed during their work together on a television film adaptation of The Canterville Ghost in 1974. They made many public appearances together, and she even asked Niven to speak at a memorial service for her late husband, Peter Sellers. Notably, when Lynn Frederick faced blacklisting in Hollywood following Peter Sellers' death, David Niven stood by her. Their friendship remained strong until Niven's passing on July 29, 1983, which was just four days after Lynn Frederick's 29th birthday, and eight weeks after the birth of her daughter. Lynn Frederick's career and personal life were marked by dedication, determination, and the support of a few close individuals. Her journey through the world of film and television remains a testament to her resilience and talent. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the captivating world of Lynn Frederick, I invite you to pause and delve into your personal connection with this remarkable talent. Let her performances resonate within the chambers of your memory and allow the emotions she stirred to come flooding back. In the tapestry of cinema, Lynn Frederick wove threads of brilliance and emotion that continue to touch hearts. Her ability to breathe life into her characters, to make us laugh, cry, and ponder the complexities of the human experience, is a testament to her enduring legacy. Now, it's your turn to share your favorite memories, the moments when her on-screen presence left an indelible mark on your soul. Did you find inspiration in her portrayals, or did her artistry provide solace during a challenging time? We'd love to hear your thoughts and reflections. As we celebrate Lynn Frederick's impact on entertainment, we acknowledge the countless lives she has touched and the indelible mark she's left on the cinematic tapestry. With gratitude, we thank you for joining us on this journey and for sharing your thoughts and memories. In the world of storytelling and the magic of the silver screen, Lynn Frederick will forever remain a cherished star. Thank you for your time and your enduring interest in celebrating her legacy.